Skateboard GB is the worldwide governing body for skateboarding, with responsibility for Olympic and world-class performance programs. One of these many programs is the Pipeline Project, which was created in August of 2021 to test, trial and build a pathway for talented skaters in their hub skate parks. One of these hubs is actually located right here in Cornwall at Mount Hawk Skate Park. Mount Hawk has been the backbone of skateboarding here in Cornwall since its inception in 1986. It started out as a simple outdoor park, but over time it has grown into one of the biggest indoor parks in the UK. After becoming a part of the Pipeline project, Mount Hawk has managed to see many of its own skaters perform at national championships and also become skaters for Team GB. Today we head over to Mount Hawk to meet with head coach Frankie and Team GB skater George to find out more. My name is Frankie Lanny. Uh, I've been skateboarding for 12 years now. I uh, absolutely love it and loved it so much that I wanted to work in skateboarding so I became a skateboard coach uh, and kind of started out with making a little business like skateboard coaching business and then from there kind of moved on to working for Skateboard GB coaching some people like George next to me people that are actually better than me which has been an absolute treat because you can really get complicated with all the all the different types of skills and stuff like that they can do uh, and yeah I'm, I'm always here at Mount Hawk and absolutely love it and love helping out the kids and trying to do my best for the, for the scene. I'd say to anyone, just if someone's curious about it, just come along to a session and just like get involved. It's not really strict, like we shut down the park for just the hub skaters, you know, we still want to keep them involved, other people involved as well. But I think, yeah, it's more just kind of at the start, there'll be an application process people apply and then every year we're hoping to just kind of like get new talent in for that. And then, you know, people will go on and hopefully encourage people to try out some competitions and meet new people. My name's Georgia Neal, I'm from Devon and I'm on the Skateboard GB team. So I get to go do all the international comps and hopefully qualify for the Olympics. So when I first met George, he was a little shy kid and his skateboarding spoke for himself really. Um, he didn't, he kind of just skated away. I, I didn't know who he was when I first met him and then I saw him skate and I was like, okay, now I kind of know who he is. And um, ever since then, since the hub started and stuff, I got to know George and um, been lucky enough to be entertained by his shenanigans. Um, and since then, yeah, we've been on quite a few, well, we've done a few trips together, gone to a few competitions, and we've kind of built chemistry up through doing a bit of coaching at competitions and kind of giving some support at some of these events that could, could be quite significant for qualifying for more national level events, so. George has built quite a name for himself after his recent success. So much so, he's landed his way onto the Skateboard GB team as one of their youngest skaters. We asked George about his reaction to when he found out he made the team and also what the qualification process is like. Um, I couldn't really believe it. I was kind of, I kind of thought the person who told me was joking. So you'd go to the comp, you'd get like um, three days of practicing, like 45, minute sessions and then there'll be one day where you just do all the qualifying of the men's and women's, no, men's and women's are different days. And then the last day, then there's another day with the next round and then the next, then the final on one whole day itself. We also wanted to find out how Frankie felt about some of his students having huge success in national and worldwide tournaments. Uh, it feels, yeah, it feels quite surreal really because to me they're just my friends and we just kind of mess around and just, you know, it's, it's like we take it seriously to an extent but then like usually when we have these hub nights it's all about making sure that we preserve the longevity of their skateboarding experience and making sure they have fun and they enjoy it and they have that freedom that kind of kept me involved in it and, you know, kept other skateboarders involved in it and for some of the people here as well, it's, it's quite crazy to me, like Harry, Harry Wild, one of the skateboarders in there, he was like an inspiration for me when I was younger, so to think that I'm like part of like nested planning and stuff like that for him now is just like unreal, but yeah, it's, it's been really good, but it's like, it's always like you don't actually know, you don't, it's, you don't actually realise that these people are doing what they're doing until you see them like in the national comps, like until I, you know, I'd see, I'd see like Lola Tamlin, like she's just like, feels like a mate and then I'd see her on like the, the live stream and it would just be like, oh, crazy like it's, it just kind of like goes goes in one ear and out the other sort of thing you know 
The skateboarding scene in the Southwest is forever growing and growing fast. And we wanted to know what Frankie's thoughts were on this. It's quite crazy really because in the Southwest there's, there's actually quite a big scene but it is still quite underground. There's a lot of skateboarders around in every different town you go there'll be like a really good skate or like a group of really good skateboarders and not a lot of people know about them because like, we're so kind of isolated from the rest of the country and it's really cool and that, I think it's awesome that Skateboard GB picked up on that as well and made Mount Hawker a hub, a, 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 as part of the hub training program and yeah it's just it's been growing ever since like there's been new parks put in in a lot of places this this summer as well like there has been St Just Concrete Waves of a few years ago now which was huge and then Matt Hawk's looking to extend and it's just getting bigger and bigger but I think it'd be nice to see kind of a bit more publicity and like a bit more recognition for like what actually is down here and this is why the hub is great because it kind of brings skaters out of Cornwall a lot of the skaters that are in the hub have like never really done big comps before until now and some of them have done really well so it's nice to feel like that potential is coming out now a little bit so we're all excited to follow George's progression over the next few years and we wanted to know what Olympics he may be competing at if I qualify, I will be completing at the Paris 2024 Olympics. I need to get into the top like 20 something to get in, but there's a, another like cut off before then where I'd need to be the top 44 and then there's more events going to the qualification of the Olympics. What was it you came in the World Champs? Was it like 56? Uh, 56, yeah. Yeah, sweet. And that's pretty good for a World Champs, especially at 13. Like, there's no age restrictions there, so it's just, everyone's, you know, it's pretty good. Well, there you go. If you want to follow George and Skateboard GB success, then all the information can be found on their website, skateboardgb.org. And make sure to follow their socials at Skateboard GB. And if you're in Cornwall and feel like learning to skate or find out more about the skateboarding scene, then head over to coachfrankskateschool.co.uk or mounthawkskatepark.com.